right, better. Yeah, all right, better. I'm gonna put the pole on this. I don't know what that does. So. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> a couple. Okay. Hey, everybody, and welcome back. Oh, wait, wait, sir. Okay. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to Cats Contemporary Art Talk Show. C A T S. C A T S. Contemporary Art Talk Show. So this is a really exciting episode today. We're going to talk about some artists. We've got three artists picked out for you. Yeah, three Derek picked them out, and they're three black artists, which is kind of cool, I think, to kind of pay um, respect to oh. other ethnicities. I feel like we predominantly did white. Last time we did white European, which was a little odd. Yeah, no. So now, um, now no. we're doing black artists. No, not true at all. Uh, we have a good blend of ethnicities and um, no, male sure. and female artists in this episode. Derek. No, they're not? Yeah, I don't think so. All right, we have a special guest with us today, Gizzard. Gizzard's going to be helping us critique uh, really contemporary work. Thanks for being here, Gizzard. All right. All right. Uh, first up is a... Uh, is it... Mm -hmm. Is Scott Reeder. Now, this one's pretty cool. I, I like this one a lot. Wait, hold on, hold on. Before you go too far, I want to uh, reiterate this. Not Scott Reeder, the heavy metal musician. Scott Reeder, the visual artist. I don't think we got camera two over here. Scott Reeder, the visual artist who also makes um, films as well. Cool, which is, I can relate to that. All right. Um, this one's neat because, it's untitled, but it's neat because it's it's made with cooked pasta. Oh, wow. Yeah, now, is that actually he, pasta on there or does he peel it off afterwards? Um, I've heard that he lays down a base coat of paint and then cooks pasta and then... Um, Part of the artwork is arranging the pasta in a very interesting, conceptual, abstract way. And then he spray paints over the pasta. And then he has to wait, um, I think overnight, until the pasta dries. And then he scrapes off the pasta kind of like worms when oh, birds cool. have, have like died on your, your patio. <clears throat> and um, yeah, then he's left with the masterpiece. Now this is neat because uh, also one way when you're cooking in the kitchen, I remember as a kid we'd cook pasta and my mom would get mad because we'd fling it against the wall. If it stuck, yeah. I meant the pasta was ready. Yep. So my mom That's was constantly point. scraping pasta off of the walls. I think he's kind of, he kind of built that into the, the concept of this work. Scott Reader, what, Reader, what is that, Italian? Uh, Italian for I don't pasta? Know. Sounds English to me. Uh, All right. But basically I have some problems with the composition. I feel like he's working on tension, overlap. Um, he's bringing the, the noodle shapes off the canvas. But for the most part, I don't like anything going on in like well, this region here. But I think this right here is is a masterpiece. I like I like all. See this how one. there's some negative space um, to kind of negative offset space is him because he's not giving it all a thumbs yeah. up. I think so, this is great. There's there, it's uh, a whole piece. And so I, and one thumb down, one thumb sideways. I think if he would have concentrated on this area more and kind of brought in more of what's this uh, activity, it could have been a successful work. But he did not do that. Uh, two thumbs up for me. So that's three out of four. That's not bad. It's not bad. Well, I have one sideways. Three. So two and a half. Okay. Okay, next up, we have Amanda Ross Ho. Uh, no, I think she is, uh, I think she is a black artist. Nope. She is not a black artist at all. Derek told me there was... <laughs> no. Okay. Derek, Derek has made a mistake. Did you look that up? Yeah. But we, that's... Um, uh, yeah. what's this one called? I like this piece. This, this is called Eraser Shield. Now I have, it's interesting because I have a couple of racer shields um, in my studio, but I never know what to do with them um, because I, when I erase, I just actually get the racer and just erase without using it. So okay. I don't, I don't really know now, what eraser I wish they had like a banana for scale. I'm not sure how big that is. It's, it's actually sizable. It's 40 inches by 28 inches. Oh wow. That's I don't know big. This, I don't know what, for the Europeans watching and I don't know what that means for centimeters. Yeah, that's huge. Around 101 centimeters, I think. Um, uh, and it all, you, you should also know it's made out of stainless steel. So this is not know, an easy thing to make. This is, this is a perfect day to look at art. It's raining outside, it's kind of overcast. It's a great day to sit inside to watch this video and maybe to watch some, art, uh, some new art and learn a little with yeah. us. I think this piece is, um, it kind of talks about conceptual art in general. It's maybe not made to like look at. You're not going to really get anything from looking at this. It's not going to blow you away. Um, but if you appreciate the artisanal quality of uh, making a piece like this, I think um, you, you might have a rewarding experience. It's not necessarily visual, but conceptual. I like this. 
I give this one two thumbs up already, but I like the, uh, the abstract and the kind of concept of eraser made out of stainless steel. You're not going to erase this. This is not going away. This right. is permanent. Yeah, this is um, not a mistake that you want to erase. This is a piece that's stainless steel that's going to last forever. Not exactly fun to look at, but for better or worse, it's going to be around forever. So it's a pretty strong concept. Two thumbs up. Four thumbs up. Boom. Boom. All right. Next up. Now this one is a black artist, or it's an art of a black man. It's an art of an African American man this... who is a winner because it's called Hitman Five Belts. So you're not going to get five belts for nothing. I have five belts that I bought at Kmart, but they're not the same. They're made out of leather. This looks like it's gold. Yeah, I won a I've won a couple title belts in my life, uh, but it's not really about me. It's about this badass painting. Uh, this dude's a badass. He looks like Kanye West. He looks like he's ready for battle. Um, take no prisoners. Uh, just really awesomely painted. The rendering that's going on is amazing, and the belts and the shapes, the the muscular uh, physique of the uh, the gentleman. I like the colors, the green, the yellow, the black, and the white. Yep. That's neat. One thing I learned, though, in my two-dimensional design class at, that I took at a community college is you're never to make an island, an island uh, drawing or painting. So that's kind of one thing I don't like about this is all the activity oh. is centered in the middle, uh -huh. and you're not activating the negative space around the figure. So, I mean, but personally, I would put lightning bolts or, uh, you know, some activity. All right. Like a building being demolished in the Here's, background, to like. Could you pick up your dog? Yeah. No. Just, are, just get him. Just, just pick him up, Chris. Hang on. Get him off me. You. He likes you. He likes you. All right. Go back, Gizzard. All right. So uh, I give this one two thumbs up for sure. Jay does the same. Yeah. Two thumbs up. Jonas Wood, Hitman, five belts. I am allergic yeah, to dogs. To yeah, he wants to stay with you. Uh uh. It's gonna. All say, right. It's my eyes are short. Gizzard, sit. All right, thanks for watching. This has been another episode of Cats, Contemporary Art Talk Show. <sighs> yeah, sneeze. Oh, come on. Oh, you have allergies, right? I'm oh, I should take them away from you.